Hey everyone, Tyler here for Make Magazine, and I just checked out one of the most impressive things I've ever seen at a Maker Fair. It is the tiny tabletop manufacturing facility that uh, makes these tiny heads for a, a massaging arm, and it drills the parts, drives in dowels, glues them, compresses them together, and then deposits them all in a bin. And the best part is it was designed by Ethan Milligan, a sophomore in high school. Let's go meet him and check out the project. I am Ethan Milligan. I am a sophomore in high school, and I brought this machine, which assembles this part right here. So the first step in this whole process right here is this uh, station right here. This basically, the heads, which are semicircle, slide down this rail. They drop in here. This detects that there's something there and goes down and picks it up and places it into this slot right here. Then it moves on, and this one drills a hole into the center of it. Then it moves on from there, which this station puts glue into the center and the bottom of that hole. It moves on twice to this station, which for the first one, it just flattens it against the top for this one. Then the first part that goes through gets to here. It picks it up, it rotates it around, and waits for this station to be done. At this station, uh, for the second part, it brings over one of these um, stem parts, places it right here, so this goes like that, and then this whole thing jams the rod down into the center of this. Then once that is down, uh, it moves over to this station, which then presses the two together. It doesn't press them all the way because it doesn't have enough force, which is what this next station is, which it moves on and presses them together with about 300 pounds of force. Then the next station is just to kick it off, and then there you go, that's the whole thing. To design the whole thing, I use SolidWorks, but the main, the main um, like parameters that I needed it to be was it needed to be cheap, it needed to have a lot of recycled parts, which is part of the cheap thing, and it also had to be really, really small. So the first idea I had was to have it all on a line, like a conveyor, but that didn't work because then it would have been really, really wide, which I didn't want. So the next idea was to have it circular, um, which I had to account for because if I had too little, then it would have, um, I wouldn't have had enough places to put stations and then it wouldn't work and if it was too big then I'd be wasting material. The recycled parts, a lot of them we had lying around on other machines that um, weren't active right now so like uh, these two for example they were on a machine that made syringes but the contract ran out for the machine so the machine was retired so we just took those off and placed them on here and used them for a different purpose. Uh, and then a lot of these, like this, this, uh, the steppers, the stepper under here, and the gearbox, were all just lying around from other failed projects. The, my most favorite thing that I learned from this was um, how to get, because I never worked with pneumatics before, so I was really interested in how to uh, make uh, the, the programming and the pneumatics go together, and I, it, it was a lot of learning processes, but once I got it, I learned that it's very useful. Well, pneumatics is a great, a great way to go, because solenoids can't really cut it in some situations. I have no idea what's going to come next. I mean, I hope it's going to be something like this, but I really don't know.